ESPN proudly presents the 1982 NCAA Division III Basketball Championship. From the campus of Calvin College in Grand Rapids, Michigan, the Little Giants of Wabash College take on the defending champion Bears of Potsdam College. The NCAA Division III Championship game is brought to you by Fuji. More and more, the red, white, and blue is turning green. The green box of Fuji Phil. By Dotson, who invites you to see all the exciting Dotson cars and trucks at your local Dotson dealer. And by Anheuser-Busch of St. Louis, Brewers of Mexico. Put a little weekend in your way. And welcome to our Division Three Championship, everyone. Hello, I'm Jim Thacker with Irv Brown. Irv, we've been to the Final Four, you name it. No more excitement than we got right here. We've been here two days, and these people are going wild. If anybody's having any more fun today in America, I don't know where it's at. It's right here. Well, the real fun in basketball is here for sure. Two great stars, all time in scoring in this division of this game. Well, first of all, Maurice Mo Woods, they call him, from Potsdam. Gets it up and down the floor as well as anybody in Division Three. He's very quick. He's very unselfish. He's an excellent basketball player. On the other side of the coin, the big horse, Pete Metzlars from Wabash. What can you say about him? He's liable to be in the NFL next year. He's 6'8". He's a load. He only shoots about 75% from the floor. This guy can play the game. I'll tell you what, they'll get after each other all night long. Should be a great one. He's going to set an all-time shooting record. 75% from the field for his career. Can you believe that? That's going to be Mr. Metzler. And two coaches who certainly have established great programs come here for the showdown. You know what's interesting, Jim? Both Jerry Wells and Glenn Petty, both, Mac Petty, that is, both these guys, if they're coaching anywhere else, everybody knows their name. The difference down here, you don't have six, seven, six, eight forwards. They're six, two, they're six, three. Their strategy last night was terrific. They do what they have to do to win. They're both winners. They can coach as well as anybody we know. All right, that's the setup here. It's going to be up to Potsdam to see what they can do about the ponderous Metzlar. It'll be coming up in a moment. We'll have the starting lineups next. Here's announcer Leonard Wilkins. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to Calvin College's Noel Crest Fieldhouse. Calvin is very proud tonight to be able to present the championship game of the NCAA Bas Ben's Basketball Finals. And here are the opening lineups for tonight's game. For the Wabash Little Giants. A junior, six foot, two and a half inches, from Crawfordsville, Indiana. Number 30, Carrie Seward. For the Potsdam Bears. Number 22, Jim Saguna. At the other forward for Wabash, six foot four sophomore from Wabash, Indiana. Number 50, Merlin Nice. And for Potsdam, at the other forward, a six foot three senior from Brentwood, New York, number 35, Maurice Woods. At center for Wabash, a six foot eight senior from Portage, Michigan, number 10, Pete Metzelar. And for Potsdam at center, a six foot six senior, junior, from Syracuse, New York, number 43, Gary Sparks. And at the guards, for Wabash, a senior, six foot one, from Merrillville, Indiana, number 12, Mike Holcomb. At the guards for Potsdam, a 5 foot 11 sophomore from Liverpool, New York, number 12, Marty Groginski. And at 
at the other guard for Wabash, a 5'10 sophomore from Lawrenceburg, Indiana, number 20, Teddy Parker. And for Potsdam, a 6'0 sophomore from Utica, New York, number 14, Leroy Witherspoon. The coach for the Wabash Little Giants is Mac Petty. The coach for the Potsdam Bears, Jerry Welch. Alright, there you have it. Wabash out of Indiana, Potsdam in the state of New York. And they'll be meeting here for the Division III NCAA Championship. And it all gets underway in just one moment from Grand Rapids. at Calvin College on the campus for this 1982 Division III showdown between Wabash and Potsdam. Potsdam, in the last three years, has won 100 games under Jerry Welsh and Wabash College. They won Potsdam the defending champion, as you know, and Wabash College in its third straight NCAA championship. So here we go. It'll be Potsdam in the white and in the red for Wabash, the little giant. And there he is, all set to go. Here. There's the mascot, and the crowd will be with this Wabash ball club because they're very close to here in Indiana, and they played a very smart in the first game, Jim. They cheered for Brooklyn College, and Brooklyn would be behind them. They were uh, the winners in the third place game tonight. Witherspoon controls the tap, Potsdam will go to work. Now, Potsdam is not above spreading it out right here, Earth, from the very beginning. They, they will do respect it. The big giant next on the inside of the little giant. They will do this immediately. It's a 2-1-2 two -two zone against him. The emphasis is on Wabash to come out. You've got 10 seconds. Two people have to come out aggressively. And Mike Stockner is into the count. Now they've got to come out. Another player's got to come out. Now they're warned. They've got five seconds or it's a technical foul. So immediately the wheels are turning. Crowd well, didn't like it, of course. Here goes Witherspoon to the baseline. Now they turn back outside. They'll keep this court spread. They want to keep the ball up. away from the inside where, of course, Metzler has a lot of fun. Jerry Wells oh. wants his ball club to penetrate. That is, uh, is not what they were doing right there. They do pick up the foul. Number 12 picks it up for uh, Mac Petty's ball club, and that's Mike Holcomb, the hot shooting guard. First foul of the ball game. No score. We're just underway here for the Division Three Championship. Driving across goes Witherspoon. Dumps on the inside to Wood, and there's the first score of the game. Well, they took it right to the hole to the uh, front of the strength, Metzlar, and they start out with the press already thrown away. Great play by Metzlar as they throw it away and he comes up with it. Pats down the lead by a score of 2 nothing. I want to move inside with the big giant red hit, Mark Metzlar. Leads the nation in our scoring percentage and he's going to set an all-time record. He's over 70%. Outside, who come in and out? There's Metzlar tapped away beautifully. What a play by Sagona. Here comes Witherspoon. Beautiful pass the inside the wood and he's got his second. I'll guarantee if this kid Witherspoon can't play Division One, I don't know a basketball player. All he can do is penetrate, pass. I can't tell you how well he shoots because he didn't shoot much last night, but this guy is a great athlete. His ball club leads 4-0. Well, Potsdam Bears on the top. Wabash yet to score, and uh, really, that's not, uh, that, that's why it's not really touched the ball. Well, he really draws the crowd, Jim, so the key is going to be Holcomb, number 12, the shooter on the left wing. They'll get it to him with a jump pass right there, just a normal pass. He's a guy who's going to have to hit to draw him out. Well, guys, Parker back court. Now they're going to Metzlar. Look now, they're in trouble. What a horse this guy is. I mentioned at the top he could be in the NFL. The San Francisco 49ers took him out and timed him. He runs 4-7. He is an All-American football also. The reason Wabash got him is because they let him play two sports. That'll tell you something. A lot of youngsters looking in want to play two sports. Yeah, it's better not be afraid to look to Division III. Witherspoon cannot find the range, so it's got it. Here comes Wabash now with a chance to tie the score. Nice, takes one look inside. Right now, Metzmar on the weak side, and that breaks to the right. Always looking inside. Here goes Seward to the baseline with a spinning shot, ties it. Hey, Seward can play a little bit. He's 6'2", but he plays bigger than that. He was all regional. He had a bad ankle early. That hurt him. There's one from the corner by Woods. That's six points. All the points in the game scored by Potsdam. And they're back in the lead, pal, 6-4. A little zone pressure by Potsdam, forcing to the side. 
Trying to keep the ball right away from the middle where they can easily hit Big Metzlar. It's a 1 3 1 basically going against Metzlar, and it's tough to get it inside, but Mac Petty is smart. What he'll do is put Metzler on the other side, just let him work the boards. Here's another steal. Well, Watch this kid the interception. Weatherspoon takes it in strong against Parker and draws the foul. That'll be the second team foul against Wabash, number one on Teddy Parker. Weatherspoon a year ago got his ball club into the finals with a desperation 45 foot shot. Here he comes. Look at him go with the left hand, Jim. This kid is just an athlete. Did not start in high school. And now, it, to me, the best is ahead of him. Just a sophomore. He was outstanding last year. He's a gamer. 15 points in a championship game. Six to four. Potsdam has the lead. So far, it's been all good. Intercepted by Nice. Picked up immediately by Gorgensky. Stopped the break.